All right, today we're going to be working with right triangle trig. And when we're talking about right triangle trig, we're using SOHCAHTOA. So is to remind us that sine of an angle is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Ka stands for cosine equals adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the TOA is tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Now, when we're talking about opposites, adjacents, and hypotenuse, we're looking at the sides of a right triangle. If you look at the triangle to the right, the little c is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. It's also the diagonal of the triangle. It is always the hypotenuse. The opposite side and the adjacent side are interchangeable, though. If I'm looking at angle A, which is right by the capital A, then the adjacent side is B, and the opposite side is little a. If I'm looking at the capital B for angle B, then the adjacent side is little a, and the opposite side is little b. So that's something to keep in mind while we go through these problems. If I look at this triangle, and I'm told that angle A is equal to 35 degrees, and B equals 12 inches, I can solve for every other part of the triangle. We're going to start by drawing out our triangle just how it was on the PowerPoint, except the variables that we were given, we we're going to label. So we know that this bottom length is 12 and that the angle is 35. I also want to apologize about the handwriting. It's the first time I've used this program and it's just messed up. Anyways, we know that we have an angle and a length. This length right here is the adjacent. And we have two trigonomic functions that have adjacent in them. And one of them is tangent. The tangent of 35 is going to equal the opposite over the adjacent. And the opposite is A. And the adjacent is 12. And to solve, it's really easy. Just multiply both sides of that equation by 12 to get a by itself. So we have 12 tangent 35 equals a. And then go ahead and type that in your calculator. Make sure it is in degree mode. And you're going to get a equals 8.402. The other trigonomic function that has the adjacent in it is cosine. And the cosine of 35 is equal to the adjacent, which is 12, over the hypotenuse, which is the diagonal side of that right triangle, c. Now this one's a little bit different because there's a variable at the bottom. But it's not too hard if you remember that you can switch, that you can flip, excuse me, both sides of the equation. So cosine 35 becomes 1 over cosine 35, and 12 over c becomes c over 12. Then you can multiply both sides by 12 to get the c by itself again, and you get 12 over cosine 35 equals c. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode, and type out 12 divided by cosine of 35, and you get c to be 14.649. So now we've found the two missing sides of the triangle, and all we need are the two angles. If you look at angle C, since we know this is a right triangle, that's obviously the right angle, so we're going to say angle C equals 90 degrees, and once we know that, we can use the fact that angle B is going to be find out, found out by subtracting angle C and angle A from 180 because there's 180 degrees in every single triangle. So B is going to come out to be 55 degrees. And that is how you solve that problem. This problem, I'm not going to redraw the triangle. We're just going to look at the one to the right. And I, 
but I am going to say that we're going to start by trying to find angle B. Now, in terms of angle B, 12 is on the opposite side of the triangle, and 15 is the hypotenuse. So, that means that we're going to use sine because sine is opposite over the hypotenuse. When we solve for b, all we do is take the inverse sine of each side. So we type in our calculator, sine to the negative first, or inverse sine, of 12 divided by 15. When you type that in, you end up getting that b is 53.130 degrees. Now we can easily find angle A because there's 180 degrees in every triangle and one of the angles is 90. So we do 180 minus 90 minus 53.130. And that gives us an answer for angle A of 36.870 degrees, and you can do that on your calculator. See, I didn't write down yet, but it's 90 degrees. Now we know all of the angles and two of the sides. All that's left is we have to find the last side. I'm going to use cosine, and that's because I know cosine of 53 Point one three zero, which is angle B, is equal to the adjacent, and the adjacent to angle B is A over the hypotenuse, which is 15, or the diagonal of the right triangle. And then to solve, I just bring the 15 over and type in my calculator 15 times the cosine of 53.130 because that's what's equal to A, and I get a nice even answer of 9. So now we have the missing side and all the missing angles. And that's how you solve a triangle where you only know two of the sides. So remember, the key thing here is Sokotoa.